Hi guys, today I have a very quick unboxing from Loreworks, which is really not an unboxing because I couldn't wait to open it and um, so I opened it up and looked at the stuff. But I wanted to couple it with another unboxing, which is a huge unboxing um, from another company. Um, so I opened it up ahead of time because it's a small box, although the contents are crazy. These glasses are from another unboxing that I did the other day. Aren't they cute? They are from um, Sweet Gypsy. She included them in one of her boxes as a gift. And so they're super cool. Look at them. Doop, doop. Awesome, right? Uh, probably be wearing these all the way to Halloween. Not in every unboxing. I don't want to bore you. Stuff that I got from Loreworks is awesome, awesome, awesome. So even though I opened it ahead of time, I still wanted you guys to see it. The invoice um, shows the pricing. So, oh no, it doesn't. So I'm going to not have the pricing for you. I will add it to the bottom of the video as usual. The first item that I got kind of like uh, melted a little. So the label is not going to be visible too well. But it is a socket whipped exfoliating soap and it is really pretty um, as far as it's sort of like got this gold shimmer on top of it. Um, but when you open this guy up, look at it. The scent in here, oh my gosh, it smells Oh, I don't even know what the scents are, but it smells like it smells like a Jolly Rancher to me, and it looks like it smells like I can't read the label, but it smells like pineapple and maybe green apple. I don't know, but it's so pretty. Look at that, it's like a soap that she puts in there so clever and beautiful and even just looking at the outside of this you can tell how beautiful this thing is going to be this is going to be one of those that i'm not going to save i am going to use but because i knew i was going to probably use this guy all the way up i ordered the bar soap that matches isn't that pretty so uh i have not only the Reg the uh, whip soap exfoliating soap but I also have the bar soap so maybe I'll decide I want to use this one or maybe I'll decide to save this one. beautiful her work is just amazing pretty matchy matchy love it love it oh, I really can't get enough of this scent honestly she is like a master at carving and scents the next item that I ordered was this Pole bar soap. Look at that. The mastery that goes into making the mold, the carving that goes into making this mold. Nim is just amazing. I don't know if I was if I pulled back enough for you to see all of that. Look at that. I think this was six dollars. And then people wonder why all of Nim's soaps go directly into my collectibles box and one day I might end up really poor and then I'll have soap to use or sell on eBay to make some money the last bar of soap that I purchased um, was this one and only because I'm just a Halloween fiend and it's just super dope and it's sort of like you know marbleized and it's got little specks of color everywhere. It's just gory and pretty at the same time. So let's see what she calls these. This is the succulent four ounce whipped exfoliating soap. Suck it, succulent four ounce whipped exfoliating soap. Then we have the suck it, succulent, succulent moisturizing and exfoliating soap. The Edgar Allan Poe Mystery and Macabre Artisanal Soap. And then, this is Halloween Artisanal Soap Lush, y y I'm sorry, Yug, 
Uh, this is Halloween artisanal soap in a uh, looks like Yognog scent dupe from Lush. And then she sent me um, a little sample which I found very interesting. She knows I don't like butterbeer scent. And I lost the outside packaging. That's what happens when you're outside on a breezy day and you bring your stuff outside. It's really super breezy today. And I brought it out and now I went back in the house for a second. I came out. I'm in an enclosed like um, tent here and yet I still can't find it. The breeze must have gotten it. I don't know what happened. Um, but she sent me a butterbeer cream scent and on it it says I know you don't like butterbeer but I decided to send you this butterbeer cream and I was like well she knows I don't like butterbeer what kind of sense does that make it made all the sense in the world first of all look how pretty this is secondly I always do this I dig my nose too deep in but anyway um, this smells unlike any butterbeer I've ever smelled this is like this is this actually smells delicious so either the other folks are making butterbeer smell nasty or she's got it right like every time I get something I'm pushing this up like they're real glasses but every time I get something that smells like butterbeer I'm just like why are people actually getting butterbeer stuff it's disgusting uh, there was actually a, a Harry Potter themed box that I wanted to get so badly because there was this one bath bomb in it by another company that I wanted I wanted and I was like look I'll buy the whole box as long as I get this bath bomb but then there were so many butterbeer uh, scents in there I was like you know what I just don't want to waste my money I think I'll pass on this bath bomb for once and then I found out that she had extras yay because I didn't have to buy the box because that butterbeer turns me off something awful this is like delicious butterbeer I don't know how she does it but this smells amazing so she was right in sending me this butterbeer sample next she sent me this poly juice potion and let me tell you this is amazing um I smelled this in one of her bath bombs and I'm like this smells so good poly juice potion um it's a fragrance mist and she sent me this because I smelled the bath bomb as I was dunking it and I'm like oh my gosh this smells so delicious and then she included it in my box for me thank you Nim thank you so much I'm like gonna drown in this till it's gone so thank you I might have to purchase this till the end of all time I smell amazing so that's it for lore works um, a small shipment love everything in it as usual lore works is just guys lore works is just amazing i actually still have a bath bomb from her from like october and i have it out to use it soon and if it doesn't react properly that's my fault because i've held on to it for so long here i am pushing up these glasses again all right that's all for lore works Next up, we have, look at this box. This box is from Luxury Wellness. It's huge. I ordered some stuff um, that I guess have to be, has to be packaged in boxes, but then she says she added some extra stuff in there, so it ended up being a big box. Um, I have not pre-unboxed this, and it's packaged in a nice, lovely way. So, um, but it's a big box, so I'm not going to show you guys how it is boxed. Um, it's all right. It's fine, guys. But in here we have two cards. Player, player one. Oops, my voice. Player. We have two cards. Ingrid, and then player one. Uh, because I bought some controllers, game controllers, and then my invoice. Thank the Lord, it includes pricing on everything. I'm going to have to put something down on my invoice so it doesn't fly away. The good thing about the breeze is that it feels amazing to do un unboxings in. The bad thing about the breeze is that everything flies away. So let's see what the first item is. Oh, how cute. 
it is packaged. So this is one of the game controllers and it reads game over and one of these is for my son and one of them is I guess for me to demo so let me just read the package let me read the Ingrid thingy here see if I understand what's going on before um, gamer I don't know I'm confused there's a thank you thank you for my order Okay, so uh, I'll just be very careful. Let me take everything out and maybe I can explore what's what. There's so much packaging in here. Okay. All right. Oh, she took so much care. Okay. Oh yes, here we are. Here is one of the gamer boxes. So this is, it says player name, player one name, Monch. My son's name is Kenny or Damien. I call him Damien, but his first name is Kenneth. And so um, he has his friends call him um, Kenneth, but he has vitiligo. Those of you who have seen him on Instagram, you'll have seen he has uh, white spots all over his hands. And so in Spanish, uh, Stain is called Mancha. So a lot of his friends call him Mach um, because his friends were saying he had white stains on him and he embraces his vitiligo. So, Munch is his name amongst his friends. So he is player Munch. So let's see what's inside his box if I don't ruin this. Oh, how cute, how cute! So it has a loading little thingy there and it looks like it has like a little I don't know what this is. It's like a little gummy controller there or a rubber controller. I don't want to ruin it. You know what? I think there's another one in here. Oh, Inky Mac. Let me open the Inky Mac one because I said I wasn't going to be able to demo one because I got one for my son and she said maybe you will. So I'm assuming she sent this one for me so that I can demo it. Oh, oh God! Look at this one. Player name Inky Mac, and then it has a little bookmarker. It has the two little tiny controllers. How cute are they? Oh, they're erasers! Oh, they're so cute! All right, so let's take a look. I'm still pushing them up like they're regular glasses. Oh, 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 and then inside are the two controllers. They're pretty heavy, too. The two controllers. So that's what is. We live near an airport and a train, uh, train tracks, so you'll be hearing stuff. This bath bomb is scented in pineapple mango, and this one is scented in monkey farts. Oh my gosh, this is an awesome gift, guys. Even if you hold on to this for a month or two, or maybe, you know what I'm holding on to this? I'm holding on to this for Christmas, actually. <laughs> um, uh, but uh, I'm gonna put this away for him for Christmas, but I'm gonna demo these sooner uh, than that. Uh, probably much sooner, because look. Mm. That smells amazing. There's a little hole there so I can get a nice whiff. So I gotta take these glasses off because it got humid out here all of a sudden. All right, let me put these guys back on. Or should I? Maybe not. All right, so again, we have the beautiful packaging. It comes in a little packet, nice packaged box packed very firmly so nothing would break and then it's got the little get these inside which is the bookmarker and the eraser so cute for any gamer in your life no matter what age my son is 30 and he was demoing a bath bomb for me today so I'm um, sorry he's 31 actually Woo, I'm getting old all right and it comes with the person's name right on the outside. 
she's made a beautiful beautiful little package there so you guys can order one for the gamer in your life lovely see this is what I was I thought maybe wasn't here which is why I didn't want to open it all right all right let's keep going here all right so then what's in here what did I order it really was much breezier and cooler here a second ago. Let's see, let's see. I don't want to rip my bags open. This is... This is an Xbox grab bag. This is an Xbox grab bag that you can have buy for um another gamer in your in your life and it's the xbox controller and it's scented and very sexy for him and it also comes with an eraser oh mm, this smells really good i'm into the men's scented bath bombs actually now do I keep this one? Yes, I do. I think I'm going to demo them all, at least one of each for Josie because they deserve to be seen. And my son does not do a good job of demoing. Today I asked him to demo something for me and he just dropped it right straight to the bottom of the tub. I'm like, oh, is that how you're going to do it? Let's not do that. <laughs> they, need, they deserve to be seen. All right, what's next? Next is shower steamers. How does this work? So I'm used to seeing uh, uh, shower steamers as little pucks. So I guess you just throw some of this into the bottom of the shower. I've never used it in a, in a powder. So I guess you just throw this on the bottom of your shower as you're about to take a shower towards the back and let the shower water get on it. Hmm. She sent me this for my husband who has, he's the, he's the shower person in the house and he, he's 6'4", so. Although it does makes no difference because my son is 6'3", and he just, lays the tub with his legs hanging down. He is a tub taken pool. My son does not care. All right. Um, the next one. Oh, by the way, let's see. The classic controller was $7 and the uh, PlayStation game controller was $7. I'm not too sure about the Xbox grab bag because she sent that to me. Uh, I'm sorry, the gamer box. I'm sorry, the Xbox grab bag because she sent that to me free of charge. So I guess if you get both, if you get the classic controller and the PlayStation controller, you get a box. Um, but the Xbox grab bag, she sent it to me free of charge. So I don't know how much that was. And then the energy shower steamer, she also sent that to me free of charge because I bought so much which is why the box is so big all right let me put this to the side um oh yes this little witch I saw her and I was like uh, I've got to have her because I'm a little witch and she what mm, she smells like monkey farts She's 550. So cute. And the endless box over here. The next one is the butterfly in cherry bomb. It is 650. Gosh, it smells super amazing. Ah. Mm cherry bomb and it is the butterfly obviously it's 
sparkly. So much in here. Ugh. Next. Oh, this was a pretty one. Not they aren't that they aren't all, but when I saw this one, I was like, oh, this is like art. It's really, really super pretty. And look at that. This is the luxury elephant in berries and cream. And this was five dollars. What I really like about her bath bombs is they're all super affordable. And don't let the size fool you. They are a hundred percent filling the tub. So a lot of people sell these big, huge bath bombs, and that's wonderful. I love those. Um, but these do just as good a job as the big ones. As a matter of fact, sometimes the big ones are a bit too much for me. Not that I'm looking down on them. I like the big ones as well. But sometimes the other ones do. Um, sometimes I have to take them out because they do a lot. So sometimes they're good enough for two baths. Oh, what do we have here next? Oh yes, I forgot about this beauty. Let's see. Okay. The next one that we have is the Luxury Lotus. Is that what I have in my hand? Yes. We're coming down to the end, guys. The look. The Luxury Lotus, and that one is $8, and it's scented in sun-drenched apricot. That smells uh, like a perfumey apricot, not, just, not exactly like the apricot. It smells prettier than apricot or apricot, however you'd like to call it. Let's see. One, two. I ordered two galaxy unicorns. I think we're done. I think we're done. Butterfly, little witch. Yo! And then I think she threw in an extra one for free, which of course, oh wait a minute. I am missing one. So sh these Galaxy Unicorn I bought because they were three bucks and they were grape. Who can resist grape? Well, I know I can. You might be. Oh Lord, everything's flying away. I'm sure you can hear the breeze. Can you even hear me with this breeze? Something got in my eye too. So this grape soda Galaxy Unicorn was $2 a piece and she threw in a third one for free. I'm sure Layla will appreciate that. And then there is one more bath bomb. It says flounder on here. There's so much stuffing in here that it's probably hiding. Oh, and the owl. Girl, there's so much stuffing in here. She made sure all of my stuff was going to be safe. So safe that I can't find stuff in this box. I don't see a flounder in here. Maybe, wait a minute. Oh, I found it. I think I have everything out of the box now. All right, so I did forget one item. It is the Luxury Owl. And it is beauteous. It is in Forever Red, um, Forever Red and, oh, it's a Forever Red bath bomb. Forever Red, and it is $6. 
smells like a memory. Did I know somebody that wore Forever Red? Probably. All right, and then the last one, and then we'll recap. Because that was a lot. Is the flounder. Which was also a thank you gift in lemon drop because she knows I like my lemon. So I don't know how much that is either. It is flounder and lemon drop. So let us recap. Let me remove all this plastic off of here before it's gone with the wind, literally. And let's recap. I'll start from the top of the list of my invoice and go down. We have three Galaxy Unicorns and they are $2 a piece. Next we have the Luxury Lotus and that is $8 a piece. Next we had the two game controllers and they were seven dollars a piece oh and also a fire station we're just surrounded by everything in this I'm back to woods and we're surrounded by everything outside of that all right so uh, we had the luxury owl And that was six dollars and I will wait for that to stop I'm gonna put this on pause now that the siren has stopped um, next we had the butterfly and the butterfly was 650 we had the luxury elephant he was five dollars the Little Witch at $5.50. Then we had um, the items that she sent me, which included uh, the gamer box. Remember that the gamer box um, comes with the player name on top, and then when you open it up, it has um, a nice little I was going to call it a hang tag, a nice bookmarker and an eraser and then your bath bombs inside. So nice little package for your, the gamer in your life. And then the two bath bombs. Um, I don't know if the price is, separate, is, is more if you buy the full gamer box or if you buy the two separate um, bath bombs and then she puts it in a gamer box. You'll need to check with her on that. And then the Xbox grab bag, which has... Uh, an eraser in it and then the bath bomb and then the flounder bath bomb and then did I put them away the galaxy unicorns I think I uh, she sent me one galaxy unicorn free of charge and then um, she sent me the energy shower steamer which again I had not seen in this type of uh, form. I had not seen it in a powder form. So, yes. So, that's what I have from Luxury Wellness and I love all her stuff. I'm excited to try. I don't even know which to try first. But I, I'm stocked up for the winter actually, really. I may not be bothering her for a while because Josie, if I don't reach out to you for a while, you know why it is? Because you stocked me up. Like, what else do I need? All right, guys. That's all for Luxury Wellness. And again, don't forget Lore Works. Excellent, excellent. And then this says Player One on it. So I guess this is... I don't want to open it because it says Player One on it. So I'm assuming this comes with... This goes with... Maybe the box. I don't know. So... Uh, Josie, please let me know. Does this go with Monch's box? I guess. I don't want to open it. <laughs> All right, guys. 
that's all for today's unboxing. Um, and I'll catch you on the next one. I don't know if I have anything else coming. I think I do, though, as usual. All right. I'll talk to you guys in a few days on the next demo, which is almost every day around, right? I hope I'm not boring you guys, but I'll talk to you soon. Bye.